What's up everyone? We're here in Key West chilling at our hotel. It's 4 to 7 p.m. Tuesday, August 9th, 2022, and it's 87 Fahrenheit, 31 Celsius. Jay's got his pineapple drink. So tasty. Mm. Little Miami bite, rum, and fresh pineapple. So good. 17 bucks. Five dollar refills. Can't beat it. The one, the only, Jaycation does travel content, food content from all over the world. Check him out. Yeah. And uh, we're busy drinking a uh, pineapple drink, but speaking of food, we're both hungry right now, right? We're starving. Starving. And uh, where are we going tonight? We're heading to the Conk Republic down over at the harbor. Right? Yep. Let's uh, make our way down there. On Duval Street. All right, let's see how cracking Duval Street is. Look at that view. Seventeen bucks, and it comes with a pineapple core as well. Look at that. I did do it. Let's go. And uh, we just got the pineapple drink, just one or two blocks down that way. It was a stall called Tropical Drinks, right? Tropical Drinks, yeah. And the lady makes it, it makes this real efficiently too. Super fast. That's the thing about this. This is good. Mm. Oh. So, uh, how'd you enjoy our hotel stay here at the Casablanca? I like it, man. It's a place to stay and it's right off the main path. All of the shops and stuff are right here, so. We can do a bunch of activities here. Or whenever so. I extend it, it's great. Yeah, I like how it's uh, right on Duval Street, so you don't have to walk anywhere to get right to the action. Yeah, man, because we were scootering earlier and all the other resorts that are down the way, even though they're near the beach, they're far from everything else, like the eateries and bars. So mm -hmm. this saves you time after a night out in the bar, you can just uh, crawl back to the Casablanca. Right now, it's not the uh, busiest time to go on Duval Street. The most happening time is on the weekends, the holidays, and at night. I'll tell you what, AK, man. This time of year, it's what, August 9th? Yep. It is hot and humid up in here, man. For sure. Hot and humid. And I know you, you're not used to the humidity yet. Yep. I'm a San Diego boy. <laughs> used to sunny and 75 all year long. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of some of Key West's uh, most well-known items, like their key lime pie and their conch fritters? Key lime pina colada. Oh, That's that. what I'll remember. I'm going to get more of that. I'm gonna refill this for five bucks. This place looks haunted with the skulls on the window. Actually, it's even like abandoned. There's nothing in it. I think it's possibly a haunted location next to a. Uh, Bourbon Street Pub, right? New Orleans has a lot yep. of haunted history. You're right, man. And uh, this is cool. All police, firefighters, and EMT from anywhere in the world. If you show your ID, pizza's free there. This place we're passing by, Smoothie Bay. I thought there was alcohol drinks, but it was uh, just smoothies. But you can get the pineapple. It's non-alcoholic. Uh -huh. <laughs> You remember what they char were charging there for it? It was like 14 bucks, 15 bucks. It wasn't as much as the alcoholic one. Uh huh. But you got your key lime pie there. You got Kermit's from that. Oh, yeah, I did. I got my chocolate covered key lime pie on a stick from Kermit's. Which, by the way, is the, uh, the most famous key lime pie on the island. They're the ones that distribute the key lime pie to all these local stores. So you can really find them anywhere. Kermit. Yep. Kermit the Frog. The 
Rainbow <laughs> connection. <laughs> Plenty of live entertainment here on Duval Street. This one's called Mangoes. Yep, Mangoes. They play a lot of classic rock songs. When I was here before, they were playing uh, ZZ Top Sharp Dressed Man. One thing that I didn't get that I wanted to do in uh, Key West to try the Asian food. Like the Vietnamese pho over there. Oh yeah. Pho King Awesome. That's the name of the store. Yep. Air conditioning, man, from the storefront. Feels good. You really feel it as you walk by. <laughs> One thing I saw that they don't really do uh, too often here is the water mist sprayers. Yeah. Yeah. Not quite there yet. Vegas has that all around, man. Yeah. I wonder though. Um, you can probably only have those if it's if it's not a human environment, right? Maybe that's why they don't have it here. Because Vegas is the desert. And I think Scottsdale, Arizona also has them. You get that dry heat. Yep. Because of the humidity, the, the misters probably don't do much, huh? Probably not. They'll probably just make you hotter. All that, that sticky feeling, man. Yep. Two dudes uh, electric boarding down the street. We were doing that earlier with your scooters, bro. Yep. It's a good thing we bought them because uh, if you were to rent a scooter here, it's like $30 a day. Woo. That would have taken all day to go to the place we wanted to go to today. For sure. So enjoyable, man. I can tell you're enjoying that drink. You almost done with it? Uh, about halfway. Remind myself to eat the fruits too. Man. Oh yeah. This place is pretty cool. It's a uh, it's a, a museum to uh, Cuban heritage. But it's closed right now. The La Casa Cuba. We had some pretty good Cuban food today, dude. Yeah, that's right. Where do we eat? The Cuban... Uh, Cuban coffee shop or something yes, like that? Yes, it was just Cuban coffee shop, a very generic name, but it had to be some of the best Cuban food I ever had. I got that empanada, salsa verde, the green sauce. Yep, you're gonna have, have to head over to Action Kit Extra to see my review of the Ropa Vieja lunch me uh, meal. Here's the original Margaritaville. There's also a gift shop, you know that? Kind of expensive, man. Went in there earlier. Yeah, <laughs> how much were they charging for some stuff? Um, I was looking for a shirt, like a tank top. It was like 28 bucks. Whoa. That's the time, and I'm like, oh.
I don't see anything. <laughs> It also rained this morning. Yeah, just Sometimes a little bit. Puddles. Hey. Deuces. 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 Did you get a Key West Starbucks mug? No, they didn't have any. I walked in there earlier. Oh, yeah? What is it, Miami? They got, yeah, there's a Miami one, a Florida one. I got the Miami one, so I'm okay. happy with it. I still, need, I still haven't found a, a Key West magnet yet, yeah. so I need to get a Key West magnet. Okay. Watch for these pillars, guys. You're not paying attention, you hit them. Yeah, that might, uh, your chances of hitting it might get higher when you have some alcohol. <laughs> no, I've ate a lot of food today, so I'm like soaking it all in. You know, I've never been in here. I've seen them all over the Keys, the sandal factory. Sandal factory? Yeah. So you buy all your Birkenstocks and... Uh, There's a lot of sandals in there, but that's, that's for sure. Crocs. Almost finished there, Jay. I'm, I'm trying to make it last until we get to the uh, restaurant. No yeah. rush. Yeah, the restaurant we're uh, planning to go to, the Conk Republic, is the largest restaurant there on the uh, Schooner Wharf, the historic seaport. You know what we missed today was the tarpon feeding. That's right. Yep. Missed the tarpon. Do it again. That's yeah, all good. We didn't even think about it earlier. That yeah, we didn't. Ever. It's all good. All right, we're green. All right. Looks like uh, the pedestrian traffic's picking up a little bit over here. It's a Tuesday night and I'm uh, actually surprised to see this many people. What's up with that? I think people are a little bit too excited to be out on Tuesday night here. Well, this is the oldest house in Key West and it's so unassuming too. You walk right by it. Can't even tell, man. 1829, circa Blends. 1829. Blends right in. It looks like any of these other homes here. And the oldest house store. Hard rock. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. The messy burger. I was all about trying the messy burger until I saw how much stuff is in it. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah. I don't think I can handle that. Yeah. Have you ever been in here? Did I walked you know? in here earlier. It was raining, dude. Yeah. What would you say about the souvenir prices here? Are they high, medium, average? They try to entice you to go in by saying things are 50% off, but they mark up the prices of the things that are 50% off to make it at regular market value. So a shirt that's 25 bucks, they'll price it at 50. So you'll think, oh, okay, this shirt's gonna be like 50, 10, 15 bucks because it's 50% off. No, it's gonna be a regular price because they mark it up to 50. Oh. That's how they get you. Hey, there's a chicken on the top.
Sloppy Joe is right across the street there on the corner. That's where everybody, that's where everybody congregates. That looks like the most popular place on the island here. On the key. Yep. It's technically not an island, huh? It's a key. Yeah, it's a key. It's not shaped like a key, but key is a uh, Spanish for like small island. I don't think that's like the literal translation, but. Calle Huesto. Yeah, Calle Huesto. That's the Spanish name. And that's another uh, another scam or tourist trap too, because Key West, that's not the actual name because of its location. It was transliterated from Calle, West, Calle Hueso. And the English thought Calle Hueso sounded like Key West. Didn't they also call it like the Isle of Bones before because they used to find like ancient Native American remains around here or something like that I was reading? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but I forgot what uh, Hueso means in Spanish. Hueso? Hueso. H-U-E-S-O. Isn't -E -S -S that West? No, it's not. Oh, no? Yep. It means something else. Your Sloppy Joe's Bar. I can look it up. Cayo Hueso. We got to go here to Green Street, past Sloppy Joe's. Hey, small dog. Crossing over here? No, go straight. We can go in the shade side. Oh yeah, we can do that. Because the harbor walk is at the end of this uh, area, Green Street. Hey Jay, I think you're on to something because I put in Google Translate, Hueso means bone. So it really meant Bone Island. Yep, Bone Island. And instead now we have Key West. And even though West, it, it fits because Hueso. it's the westernmost key that you can get to by land. Yeah, there's no bridge all the way to uh, um, Tortugas. Yeah. Try Tortugas. That's far. That's even more west than Key West. That's right. But you need a ferry to get there. Yeah, ferry, seaplane, or a private boat. That's the only way you can get to Dry Tortugas. I think there's some guy on YouTube who uh, rode a jet ski at Dry Tortugas. Or something like that. Or it's a private boat. I like the word Tortugas. Wonder what Tortugas means. Oh, a turtle. So dry turtle. Turtle. I watched this show Breaking Bad. I think there was some, there was somebody on Breaking Bad named La Tortuga or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> the bone. <laughs> the turtle. Oh, the turtle. Oh yeah, hueso is the bone. Shoes are inside. What am I gonna do? Uh oh. Got, a, got an emergency here. Got a pineapple. Where's Shay going to tie shoes? Hey, you got one hand. Can you hold I this? got it. There you go. Oh, I dropped the napkin. That's fine. Single knot or double knot? Single. Let's go, my friend. Singles, not doubles. That's how you win games in baseball, <laughs> right? No, man. You, you got to get doubles, man. <laughs> Extra base hits. There's your Ghost and Gravestones tour. Right over there. Yep, that's right. Where are we going? There? We're going uh, that way. Past the Hemingway Rum. There's a distillery, you know. They oh, make yeah. their own beer here. Ernest Hemingway. 
kind of like vacation, man. He loved vacationing up in uh, San Sebastian, Spain, over in the Pai Vasco region. And there were like all these cafes that say that Ernest Hemingway used to, you know, hang out over there. And then over here in the Key West, it's Hemingway House and everything else, like this distillery. Hemingway was a traveler, man. For sure. Smelling a bit of La Jolla around here. La Jolla? Yep. If anybody doesn't know, La Jolla is the famous cove in San Diego. JK Shin took me there when I went to San Diego for the first time. And uh, although it has really, really nice views, it's amazing, it really smells. Yeah, dude. All because of the sea lions that are there. No bueno, man. But, you know, what can you do? seaweed is what makes the smell here yep that's right the sargassum seaweed is a, a problem this year there's too much of it oh, it's so yum. Good Lord. talking to myself <laughs> talking about how yummy this is <laughs> I'm savoring every <laughs> slurp by the way Kermit's key lime shop is uh, over here the famous Kermit's key lime shop Yeah, we were here last night, dude. Yeah. Oh, there's a cafe too. And uh, this is where I checked into the Fury Water Adventures. Oh, is this where you went? Uh... Yeah, I went parasailing, jet skiing, banana boat, uh, ocean water park, and I skipped the snorkeling. How much did that cost you? It was 199. For it wasn't all? too bad. Yeah. Not bad. Man. It was like a six-hour uh, whole day thing. Wow. And we're here at the Conch Republic. <laughs> It's not the conch republic, the conch no, don't republic. say conch. The locals here are also called conchs. Don't call them conches, they're gonna get mad. Yep. But uh, anyway, we're gonna wrap this video up because we're starving. Jaden wants to finish his drink. And uh, you might possibly see a review of this place on Jaycation's video for sure. And possibly my second channel, Action Kid Extra. So go and check it out. But we're signing off now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. See you later. And safe traveling, Jay Kishners. Thanks, guys. Later, AKers. Check out his channel, too. He's awesome. <laughs>